what has it been like to see the season and the show wrap up now with episode six? Well, you know, it's 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 the it's bittersweet. You know, it's the end of a, a certain era, probably more than one. Going from Breaking Bad and also being a Better Call Saul has been um, a real treat for me. It's been um, a milestone of my career to play this character. Coming back to Better Call Saul from Breaking Bad, um, I, I found new nuance in, in being able to play a guy who uh, appears to be completely in control but may be doubting himself due to the situation of what's happening in our storyline. I, I have nothing but kudos for the writers, um, uh, the creator, Peter Gould and Vince Gilligan, uh, but especially for Bob Odenkirk, who plays this role so absolutely beautifully. Um, this show has comedy, uh, it has drama, and it has the um, feeling of the advent of impending doom. And that is something that is not um, easily achievable in a television show. And so you, you get to a moment where you're just about to you know, either laugh or cry or fall off the edge of your seat um, because you're frightened and then there's a joke that gets you into a place of a little more lightness and then there's Gus who's coming through the screen uh, to take your head off. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly impressed and honored to have been part of this show. It's changed my life completely. Um, I have the honor to, to play a dual role in season six, which you'll find out you know, soon um, in regard to being a part of the cast, but also being on the other side of the camera. And, and I, I, I can say nothing but great things about this family of incredibly gifted filmmakers, writers, and technicians. Yeah. We've had some great roles just even in the last three years with Better Call Saul, Mandalorian, which you're... Moff Gideon is like one of the favorite villains in the Star Wars universe now. How has this whole experience been like, especially uh, after the pandemic? I worked through the pandemic to develop what's happening now. I have my own show at AMC going in July called The Driver. Um, I, I felt like it, the pandemic began and I made a call, uh, a couple calls, called to my family. Uh, called to my accountant. Um, I've got four daughters, a former wife, two houses, five cars, two dogs, you know, the whole nine. Um, and I went, how long can I survive? Um, and I went, I, and I said something to myself, which is, to me, something I live by now. If you live in fear, um, it's useless. Your nerves are going to get shot. Um, there's no fear except healthy fear if you're in danger. And I said, let go of the fear, start to create. And I wound up doing The Broken and the Bad, the wraparounds for that in Albuquerque with my youngest daughter, who then was 16, who shot every all of my wraparounds. I wound up developing this show that's now got a green light. I wound up doing podcasts. I wound up starting a book. And so, um, you know, to be challenged by things that happen in our world are to see it clearly and find out what your role is. And my role is to uplift and bring people to their best selves, if I can, including myself. So uh, it's a great time to be me. Um, I'm I'm reaping the reward of, of having more than enough work, but um, I take I take it one step at a time. I love what I do, and and if you love what you do, then you don't work a day in your life. Exactly. And one quick question: Yes or no? Do we see Moff Gideon coming back in the future? I, I you know all I can say is um, <laughs> you're laughing already because you think I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Exactly. How do you live without Moff Gideon? Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. You know, without a villain like him. He's a different villain than Gus. He carries the dark saber. He's on a mission. So let's pray and hope that mission will continue. Exactly. Thank <laughs> you very much, Giancarlo. My pleasure. Really Thank you. It.